of a sudden AI is everywhere, people who weren't quite sure what it was are playing with it on their phones. Is that good or bad? Yeah, so I've been um, thinking about AI for a long time, since I was in college, really. Um, it was one of the things that, the sort of four or five things I thought would really uh, affect the future dramatically. It, it is fundamentally profound in that the, the, the smartest creatures, as far as you know, on this earth are humans. So I think we should be cautious with uh, AI, um, and we should, I think there should be some government oversight uh, because it affects the, it, it's a danger to the public. Is AI as dangerous as Elon claims? Just three months ago, Elon Musk, during Tesla's latest earnings call, tried to ease investors' worries about slow sales. He shared exciting news about a new, low-cost vehicle Tesla is working on. This car, often called the Model 2 by fans, aims to make electric vehicles affordable for everyone. Musk hinted that this car is nearly ready to be revealed. He said it would be built in a groundbreaking factory using Tesla's advanced manufacturing technology. This new approach is said to be Tesla's biggest strength. But what exactly makes this factory so revolutionary? Everything has changed now. Investors have watched Tesla's shares drop by almost 40% this year. Elon Musk has made several unexpected moves that seem like a desperate attempt to stop the falling stock price or a harmful effort to undo his previous successes. Or maybe it's both. Musk's sudden strategy change feels dramatic, almost like a Shakespeare play, with him playing both the Mad King and his fool. On Monday, Musk took a break from talking about the woke mind virus attacking national public radio to announce the largest layoff in Tesla's history. This news came right after reports that he had decided to cancel or delay the low-cost vehicle he had recently promoted as key to Tesla's future. Musk denied the report at first, but then confirmed in several posts that he would focus on a different product, a robotaxi. This is despite him promising self-driving Teslas for nearly 10 years, with no clear progress on regulatory approval, and the current full self-driving software still not being fully autonomous. To make things worse, Drew Beglino, Tesla's top battery and powertrain executive, resigned during this turmoil. Dan Ives, an analyst usually very positive about Tesla, called Baglino's departure a huge blow during what he described as a Category 5 perfect storm of weak demand. This storm is mostly Musk's own doing. Electric vehicle sales have slowed overall, but Musk's behavior on social media has likely turned off potential buyers, especially city-dwelling liberals who once favored Tesla. Meanwhile, Musk's new political stance aligning with MEGA is generally against climate initiatives. Donald Trump, whom Musk has subtly supported as a presidential candidate, also isn't a fan of electric vehicles. Elon Musk was known for making real things like cars and rockets, not just software. This made him different from others in Silicon Valley who focused on apps. Now, though, he seems more interested in self-driving software and artificial intelligence, all while paying himself $56 billion. It's a bold move, which Musk might have once called a bet the company moment, but it's strange because he doesn't need to take such a big risk now. Tesla has become a big, successful car company, selling one of the world's most popular cars. Yet, for some reason, Musk is shifting his focus to AI. Next week's earnings call on April 24th should be interesting. Insurance companies have many reasons for raising premiums. Inflation has been a big factor since prices went up in 2021. There are more car accidents because of drivers distracted by their phones. Climate change has caused more natural disasters that destroy homes. Fraudulent claims are always a problem. Lately, another reason is being used. Social inflation, which means rising legal costs. Industry groups say the legal system is being abused, with lawyers and others causing more costly lawsuits. Social inflation was mentioned about 130 times in insurers' earnings calls last year and over 550 times from 2020 to 2023, compared to fewer than 80 times in the four years before that. Some consumer advocates and legal experts disagree, while insurers blame hedge funds, private equity firms, and others for funding lawsuits for a share of the payouts. The Chiquicamata Copper Mine in Chile produced 250,000 tons of copper last year, down from 500,000 tons in 2010. Aging mines are becoming more expensive to operate as it gets harder to extract this highly demanded metal. Liliana Angel, a 34-year-old former high school teacher from Venezuela, now lives as a migrant in Peru. She feels sad because people sometimes humiliate her on the streets. Angel's story is common among Venezuelan migrants who lost their middle-class life due to hyperinflation and struggled to regain that status after fleeing their country's economic collapse. Migration is significantly affecting politics and economies worldwide.
It was announced this week that XAI plans to build the world's largest supercomputer in Memphis. The Greater Memphis Chamber shared this news on Wednesday regarding Elon Musk's company. The project is awaiting approval from the Economic Development Growth Engine for Memphis and Shelby County, the Tennessee Valley Authority, and other authorities, according to Ted Townsend, President and CEO of the Greater Memphis Chamber. What is XAI by Elon Musk? XAI, founded by Elon Musk, is a program focused on developing artificial intelligence. Started in July 2023, the company has introduced an AI program called Grok, available to X premium users on social media since December. The company's goal is to build artificial intelligence to accelerate human scientific discovery and advance our understanding of the universe. Greg Yang, one of the co-founders, tweeted that the company aims to develop the theory of everything for large neural networks to advance AI to the next level. He also mentioned that XAI would delve into the mathematics of deep learning, an aspect of AI. While Musk's new AI might not be the key to the universe, it is a billion-dollar industry that he is investing in. How much is XAI worth? Earlier this year, Elon Musk announced that XAI had raised $6 billion from various venture capital firms, including Andreessen Horowitz, Lightspeed Venture Partners, Sequoia Capital, and Tribe Capital. This funding has brought the company's total worth to $24 billion, according to Reuters. The money will be used to bring XAI's first products to the market, build advanced infrastructure, and speed up research and development of future technologies. The funding is expected to help XAI compete with companies like Microsoft and OpenAI, the creator of ChatGPT. Musk left the OpenAI board in 2018 but remained a donor. Recently, he has criticized OpenAI, calling it biased. Elon Musk has mixed feelings about artificial intelligence. He believes AI will be crucial for Tesla's future, but he also worries that AI could eliminate or constrain humanity. Musk even signed a letter calling for a temporary halt to AI training across the industry. Despite his concerns, XAI claims to compete with existing AI companies, including OpenAI, which Musk helped start but has criticized more recently. Elon Musk talked about artificial intelligence during a keynote speech in Austin at EEI. He called for more regulation and government oversight of AI and mentioned that he had been in contact with leaders about this issue. The fastest computer in the world right now is called Frontier, located in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. As of June 2024, it remains the world's fastest. This 296-ton machine was built by Hewlett Packard Enterprise and AMD, costing $600 million. Musk has said that the new computer going to Memphis will be the largest in the world. This means Tennessee will have two of the biggest computers in the world. Ilya Sutskever, a leading AI scientist, has strong concerns about AI safety. Unlike Sam Altman, who is known for his risky approach to AI development, Sutskever prefers a safer approach. He convinced other board members at OpenAI that Altman's fast-paced AI deployment was too risky. This led to a dramatic reshuffle of the CEO position at OpenAI. In July 2015, Elon Musk celebrated his 44th birthday with a three-day party, organized by his wife at a resort in California's wine country. The event was for family and friends, with children playing around the Napa Valley property. This was before Twitter became X and Tesla started making a profit. Musk and his wife, Tallulah Riley, an actress known for her role in HBO's Westworld, were a year away from ending their second marriage. Larry Page, who attended the party, was still Google's CEO. At that time, artificial intelligence was just beginning to be noticed by the public. AI was a big topic when Musk and Page sat by a fire pit near a pool after dinner on the first night. The two billionaires, friends for over a decade, often joked about Musk crashing on Page's sofa after playing video games. But that night, their discussion became serious as they debated whether AI would benefit or harm humanity. As the night grew colder, their discussion got more intense, drawing in some of the 30-plus party guests. Page, who had a vocal cord issue, quietly shared his vision of a digital utopia where humans merge with AI machines. He believed many types of intelligence would compete for resources and the best would win. Musk disagreed, saying this would lead to machines destroying humanity. Frustrated, Page argued that his utopia was worth pursuing and called Musk a speciest, someone who favors humans over future digital beings. Elon Musk later said that being called a speciest by Larry Page was the last straw. Many guests were surprised, but saw it as just another tech debate common at Silicon Valley parties. However, eight years later, their argument seems important. The question of whether AI will improve or harm the world has become a major topic among tech founders, users, academics, and lawmakers, sparking a debate on whether AI should be controlled or set free. OpenAI is now valued at over $80 billion, but Musk and Altman's partnership did not last. They have since stopped speaking. 
Altman remarked that there is disagreement, mistrust, egos, and noted that disagreements are often fiercest among those with similar goals, comparing it to conflicts in religious orders. What are your thoughts on AI? Do let us know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Until next time, see you all.